ERP for Agriculture Cooperatives. Welcome to guidance video on use of ERP deposits, term deposits, under which we are going to discuss about recurring deposits. In this video, we will discuss recurring deposit under term deposit module. Deposits are one of the important resources of the society. Deposits are two types, namely time and demand deposits. Term deposit comes under time deposits. Interest together with the monthly installments is paid at the time of maturity. Now we are in the login screen. Enter user ID, password, date, captcha and click login. System displays different icons for the services available in the society. Let us go to term deposit. To function any term deposit module, configuration of the product is mandatory. So, under configuration in term deposit, we have selected product definition. Earlier in fixed deposit, cumulative, non-cumulative also we have seen this product uh, definition. Now here we will enter recurring deposit and fill in all other fields. Normally they will be frequency of the installment, maximum amount, minimum amount, maximum period like that. And since we have already defined a recurring deposit product, we are not going to save. We will go back to term deposit. So here different tasks are available. Application is for opening RD that is recurring deposit account. We will click on application, enter admission number of the member for whom we are going to open the recurring deposit account. Under application details, select a product from the drop down list as recurring deposit and enter other details or select from the drop down. So here we can click on view interest policy to see the applicable interest rate for the selected period. Same way we can click view parameters to view recurring deposit parameters then So here we have selected duration as 12 months and frequency of the installment payment as monthly. Then the system has fetched the rate of interest as defined in the interest policy and accordingly the maturity value for the installment amount for the term is arrived by the system. Maturity interest is also displayed. We can click on the next to enter other details. Finally, click finish to save the account opening. For recurring deposit accounts, installment option is to be used for payment of the initial installment when a new account is opened. Enter admission number, click anywhere on the screen, system automatically fetches product as recurrent deposit and account number of the customer. If more than one account is there for the customer, user has to select from the drop down in account number field. Select voucher type, system will display other details under particulars the installment amount that is being paid now and click save. 
to inquire the account opened view application can be used here also enter the admission number and click anywhere on the screen to get the details of the account number the account number can be selected from the list based on the selected account number the product is product name is displayed other details like rate of interest all those information is displayed let us go back to term deposit here we are having term foreclosure and term closure term closure as we have explained earlier in another video is applicable for term deposits that are matured only if the term is not completed system will not display any data for term closure as the message is evident it says no deposit exists after maturity click ok to come out let us use term deposit term foreclosure use this option to foreclosure of any term deposit including recurring deposit and select the product name as recurring deposit as usual system fetches the account number if only one account is there otherwise select from the drop down and the activity type is displayed as foreclosure select voucher type as cash or transfer and then system displays here the total amount that is available in the recurring deposit account and interest due on this that is payable on this account then click save and the saved transaction has to be posted from FEIS like any financial transaction click view to get the transaction information select it by checking on this checkbox system displays the information of debit and credit click post to post the transaction or click delete to cancel the transaction last task which we are going to discuss is renewal renewal is applicable only for fixed deposit cumulative and fixed deposit non cumulative after maturity only for recurring deposits there is no question of renewal click on reports to see the reports these reports already we have discussed in our term deposit other video so far in this video we have discussed about term deposit that is recurring deposit category including account opening installment payment foreclosure closure on maturity and reports for support please email to erp at the rate intellectinfo.com thank you